Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. Today is a completely different video to normal. I'm attempting to do a full speed build of the Dumbhawk, which I did an inbox review of uh, last week. So, I hope you do enjoy uh, this video. If you do, uh, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe. Um, there will not be any audio or commentary from me drawing recording. There will be when I'm voicing over later on. So I start off with making the uh, cockpit, painting all the interior parts, and which were all beige. So uh, the reason I've done that is because we can't have access to it when I'm painting in the future, uh, which will be next week's video. But yeah, uh, so painting all the uh, interior parts uh, beige, uh, which includes the flight uh, control column, the flight, the dash, uh, the flight panel, the seat, the under, uh, the floor. The only bit of that that wasn't that beige color was the side of the fuselage, which, um, when I have the chance to show. So you can see all the beige on the kit. Uh, that's the interior parts. Um, so uh, I went about obviously assembling them, painting them. Uh, so you can see the green, I put the fuselage together. Uh, that was quite simple. Um, gluing it, obviously there's some locator pins, put them on that. Um, put a peg together to hold it together when it was drying. Uh, the propeller was a simple snap together build but actually attaching it to the fuselage was another matter because I had a tiny little pin that would just not sit uh, so hence all the fiddling you're about to see now um, it just would not sit in um, it didn't actually start until day two speaking of which here's day two so on day two I decided to do the rest of the aircraft so I um, finished painting up, touching up what I needed to do, um, put the wings and other bits and bobs together, um, actually finished putting the propeller on, uh, like I said it was a pain in the ass and just would not sit, um, and I've actually create the um, cockpit, because obviously if you saw my inbox video, the cockpit sits on the wing, the wings then attached to the fuselage, so yeah, um, the cockpit itself wasn't too difficult, apart from this flight, the little, the flight panel, which would not sit and would not stay upright. Uh, it went every which way but straight. Um, so you're about to see some fiddling. It took me about half an hour in real time to actually pull it down and properly secure it. Uh, so it did, it did, it did take quite some time uh, to do because it just, like I said, it would not stay upright. It was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm painting there, to be honest. I might just be touching up some bits and bobs. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, anyway, I do actually manage to snap the um, joystick, control stick, whatever it's called, uh, off, and you'll see that on the tracing paper in a few minutes. Um, so, like I said, here here's the fiddling around with the flight panel as you can see I'm getting I was getting quite frustrated um with it I don't know what's doing with my hands there uh fiddling something I don't know anyway back on to the kit uh so I'm just cleaning off the paint so I have a nice neat fit the wings fit in quite nicely actually uh they weren't too difficult to fit um, the top of the wings were though, so, and again I'm back to the dash, so as you can see um, it was a right pain in the pain in the arse, it just wouldn't sit, when it was sit you put it in the fuselage, nah, it, did, it didn't like it. Um, so the wings finally were together and the fuselage was done. So now we move on to the upper half of the wings, um, and they were quite fun to say the least. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, the cockpit again. As you can see, kept going back and forth between that and the cockpit. When I thought it was on, it wasn't, and then it was just I, I, I nearly gave up. I nearly, I nearly did. It was a right pain in the ass. Uh, when I finally got it on, uh, 
doing the wings. The wi I forgot to sand the right hand side uh, wing um, or the left hand side wing when it's uh, flipped in a minute. Um, but the one I'm sanding now was to remove all the like where it's on the sprue. Uh, that sat quite nicely. You'll see that when I do the review where I um, forgot. So I didn't make that mistake for the second wing. Um, so, so far it has not been a too bad build. It's been fairly uh, easy. Um, so not too difficult. Uh, and here I'm uh, sanding some other bits and bobs. Attaching the uh, rear, um, the, oh, what's it called the rudders and the tail i will be doing that in a minute uh not too sure what i'm doing there um i'm not too sure in all honesty maybe i should have made no oh i was attaching the cannons um to the upper half of the wings i forgot about that um and so here i'm attaching the rudders and the uh the horizontal stabilizer they went on quite easy uh they did quite sit actually sit quite nicely dry fitted uh here i'm looking at the instructions wonder what i'm doing next uh we're seeing where they went and uh just having to rum rummage through the instructions because by this point i've been recording for nearly two hours um and i was basically knackered so here we are with the final touch sticking on the little rear wheel i've decided to have the landing gear down i didn't get round to the landing gear this video because it, like i said it was taking nearly two hours so i just called it quits um so that would be in next week's video and the final piece i decided uh, i forgot about the radiator so i put that on now and that was the kit